I don't know why I always think it's acceptable to, acceptable to start these vlogs when I look like this. Anyway, hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, I hope you're all doing okay. So today is... I want to say Tuesday and I am feeling so much better. Thank you so much for everyone that wished I was okay last time we spoke. Honestly, I really am feeling so much better. I know I don't look very healthy like in my face. I still look quite pale. Might be my hair making me look like this, but I've managed to have a shower today. I just feel so much better. Like even having a shower is a major accomplishment sometimes. Um, I've done that. I've washed my own hair. I've shaved my legs, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling so much better. I'm still not 100% but I really am getting there. So I thought I'd do the intro now before anything changes, which hopefully it won't. I'm really sorry if I keep going out of focus by the way because this camera that I've got sometimes is really stupid and it unfocuses all the time. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy this vlog and I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow. Right, I've just changed into my pyjamas and I just thought I would show you something really quickly before I get in bed. Now you all know that I talk about tea all the time because it's like my favourite thing in the whole wide world. So my hair is literally so frizzy because it's still wet. Anyway, I just need to show you all my new pyjamas. I'm sorry. <laughs> there is cups of tea on them. <laughs> if you didn't think I could get any extra than I already have. I now have teacup pyjamas. I thought I would update you all on my tube by the way because I've not updated you in a few weeks or a few months actually on what it looks like at the minute. So I'm still struggling with the redness. It's, ooh. Right, if anyone can see this right now, anyone that's got a fin tube will know that your tube sometimes does this. It literally turns around by itself. I don't know if you can see it doing that. Yeah, this is my, oh my god, stay still. This is the site at the minute. It's not looking so great. I think because I was poorly last week or the week before that... I've kind of made it go a bit red but yeah just so I would update you on my cute little PJs Talk to me nice Talk to me honestly Look in my eyes Don't let it fall on me Say you're a good guy Make me believe it Don't wanna hear it I wanna see you just let you all know about something really exciting I'm about to do and let you do it with me. So I'm actually applying for a new job. So it's not really a new job but I'll explain to you in a minute. So basically at the minute my role name is a rotor coordinator um, within the NHS which I've already told you before but I'm currently doing an apprenticeship. So my role isn't as full time as it would be if I wasn't doing the apprenticeship. It's a full time role and it is basically um, a permanent role upon completion of my apprenticeship. However because of Covid and things like that loads of things have gotten in the way of my apprenticeship and the actual job role itself has just gone out to advertise again without the apprenticeship attached to it and I just think this is such a perfect opportunity for me because I don't really need the apprenticeship because I've actually already got a business degree and um, I've never really told you guys this before I don't think so the apprenticeship isn't really that needed I don't think it was just my way into the NHS so I'm applying for the role now I've spent all day on my application so I'm gonna submit it now ready one two three all done, it's submitted. So fingers crossed, it closes in two days time, so I've got it in well in time. Fingers crossed that I get this. Obviously I'll have to have an interview first. I'm basically applying for my own role, but without my apprenticeship attached. So I might not get it, but we'll just see. So I just thought I would let you in on something that's going on in the minute. Um, but that was exciting, so that's all done now, thank God. I hate doing applications, it's so stressful. At least that's all done now though. And I will keep you up to date if I do get an interview or when I've had the interview and stuff like that. Hey everybody, so it's been about three days since I last filmed and can I just start by saying 
two showers in one week i don't know who i think i am but i've had two showers in one week and not only two showers i've washed my hair twice in one week <sighs> that is literally like a myth for me seriously don't know what's come over me but i just thought do you know what i'm gonna get a shower and i did it and i'm really really impressed with myself um, that wasn't why I actually started filming, I just started to tell you why I was speaking to you. So I have some fun updates for you. So first of all, um, by now you should have all seen my caravan vlog that I did where we were shopping for a caravan. Um, so fun fact, at the end of that video, if you've got a chance to watch that yet, I mentioned that after final discussions, we actually did think that that was going to be my new, mine and James's new home. Um, I've just got a confirmation from my dad that it's all official now, and that is officially going to be my new caravan. So I'm actually going to start kind of putting some things together about my ideas for it. And I've joined a group group on Facebook called Pimp My Static Caravan. <laughs> literally so yeah like I said in that video I've got so many changes that I have to do you know I need to like update things I need to decorate I need to like convert two of the bedrooms because one needs to be an office and then the other one um isn't going to be a spare bedroom either so so much I've got to do so I'm really glad that it's been confirmed now and I can actually go ahead and start planning second update I have got is if you remember me telling you about me applying for that job, well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this at all. Anyway, I don't think you'll be able to see that. I've just got confirmation that I've got an interview, so I'm really, really proud. Um, my interview is on the 10th of March at 12.15, so that's a really, really good time for me because you guys know with CFS and all your conditions mixed together, the morning time, it's just not a good time at all like it's really not a good time so at least by that time I should be a bit more awake and I'm going to aim to get up earlier than I would do just to make sure that I am feeling okay because normally as the day goes on with chronic fatigue I don't know if you guys feel like this as well normally as the day goes on I do tend to feel better it's so strange like I feel so much worse in the morning than I do in the evening and then it's really frustrating because it's evening time you feel fine and you're like oh well it's time for bed now so I'm like a night owl, like I come alive at night. So if I ever reply to any of your messages at, like really late at night, it's because it's probably the first time I've actually felt alive that day. <laughs> um, third thing I would just sort of tell you, although I do feel fine today, I've just had a shower, so that, that is a massive pointer that I feel okay. Um, I've got a bit of a stomach ache, like a bit of a weird, you know, kind of like a bug feeling stomach ache, you know, when you just don't feel too good. Anyway, I just had a look at my tube because I sometimes do this weird thing and I just like panic and just double check it's there. <laughs> I don't know why I do that, but um, I just looked at it and it doesn't look like it's fully in, if that makes sense. Like I feel like my balloon might have popped. I'll just show you it from my angle. Right, sorry about how dirty my joggers are, by the way. That's like literally leaked just from my tube. But anyway, if you can see, it's not, I don't know how to explain it, it's not fully in, like it's kind of popping out a bit. Like, if you can see, I can actually see the tube going in me, and normally it's like that. Like, dead on my skin like that, but yeah, it just doesn't look right. So sometimes in situations like this, um, that's probably a bit of a better view from there. So you can literally see it's not fully flat against my skin, so it's just, yeah, a bit strange, but... Um, Hold on. Just had a shower. I shouldn't have stood up that fast. Oh. Um, yeah, normally in situations like this, I have to check that the balloon is still in place. So for anyone that doesn't know, the feeding tube that I have is called a Mickey button. And the one, um, in order for it to stay in place, it's kind of like a balloon inflated um, on the other side of me. So um, it keeps it in place. I'll try and insert a picture to make more sense because if you don't really know anything about feeding tubes that really might not make any sense to you i sometimes tell you things like you might understand and you might not so um so yeah i'll put it on the screen just to explain a bit but basically there's a balloon inside me um and sometimes that can pop there's been occasions where it has literally just popped randomly and i've had to go to hospital and get it changed but normally i get my feeding tube changed like every six months so it prevents that balloon from popping but it shouldn't really pop but sometimes it can you know at the end of the day it's in your bowel it's full of acid and yeah it can just happen so i'm gonna double check my balloon now 
I'll show you how I check it and hopefully fingers crossed is fine maybe I just need to put a bit more water in it but yeah I'll talk you through it as I'm doing it I think this is literally going to be the best angle I can possibly show you on. So fun little trick for anyone that doesn't um, know. I often actually have scrunchies. I wear scrunchies a lot of the time anyway. Sorry, you literally can't see me. But I wear scrunchies um, a lot of the time anyway. But one little fun little hack that I've always, always done is I just literally tie the scrunchie around the back of whatever I've got on. Like whether it's a jumper or a top. And it just literally holds it so firmly out of the way. And it just... It just makes it so much easier because I've actually got two free hands now rather than one um on there and I literally never wear crop tops or anything like that so I'd always have like a jumper or a long top on so to change my bloom these are the three things that I need so one of them is just basically sterile water and then the next two things that I need are literally just two syringes like this so I'll explain what I do in a minute and um, it doesn't matter really kind of which way round you do this next step but I'll just show you the way I do it so Firstly, what I always do is I open this first. So it's really easy to come off. Um, where that like blue marker is on the actual glue, um, the glass, if you can see, you just literally press on that and then the lid firmly comes off. Oh, I just dropped the lid on the floor. So next thing I literally do is I, it, that fits really, really well on there. So all I literally do is pull that off Sometimes you have to give it a couple of goes, but if you get it in the right place, it comes out first. So it literally just comes out like that. And I have 2.5 mil in my balloon. So I literally have this ready first. So as soon as I've taken the water out of this, I've got this ready. So I literally pop that back in there just so it's ready. And I obviously don't want to get anything of my surroundings in that. So I'll just leave it on the side. Always like to sit down when I'm doing this or preferably lie down I'd never like to do it when I'm stood up for some reason but yeah so all I literally do now is I'm probably best coming a bit closer so you can see properly <sighs> that might be a bit better so it's a bit red my tube I don't know I showed you that this week but so all you literally do is press that into the side of there and pull water out so if nothing, okay, so water is actually coming out. So if no water came out, then that would be a massive indicator to tell me that my balloon's popped because there's no water in it. But I don't know if you can see this properly. Let it focus a bit, but there is actually water in there. Um, so that's really good. And what I've just pulled out of it as well is 2.5 mil. So the exact amount that I put in it last week. So this is something that I do um, once a week, by the way, just to make sure I keep the balloon fresh. So that's a really good sign. Don't know why my tube's being funny. But at least we know it's not popped. So I'll just fill that back up. Um, so I don't know if you can see now. I'd really, I get so, oh I've got a little hair there. I get so paranoid about my tube. I don't know why I do, but I really do. So right now there is literally nothing holding that balloon inside me at all. Absolutely nothing. So I just get so paranoid that if I was to stand up now, that it would just fall on the floor <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to put it back in because we're not trained to do, change our own tubes and nurses do it for us so I really don't know how to show you this properly but if I, if you can see a little bit it's really 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 not um tight on my skin it would literally just fall out if I pulled that so that's why I like to have this ready the one that I did before so I've just pulled that out of there and I literally just do the exact same thing. I just press that and I'm putting a fresh 2.5 mil of water back into the balloon. Oh, it's very sore today. Okay, so for some reason now, my tube has gone like skin tight onto me. So as per what I showed you before, it's not doing that anymore. So maybe I did just need to change it, even though I literally changed it like two days ago. So I'll show you again from this angle. So if you can see before, it was kind of like popping out of me. Now it's like skin tight. So no idea, but at least that's done. So yeah, I hope that made sense. Um, at least it's changed now. And I know it's not popped because that was the main reason why I was doing it. Cause like I said, I only changed it like two days ago. I shouldn't really need to do it again, but I always get super, super, super paranoid about my tube don't know why I'm always like that literally every morning I wake up I, I like put my hand on my stomach and I'm like oh my god is my tube still there <laughs> I don't know why I do that but yeah that was a little fun update for you 
on the caravan on my job interview and also just sort of let you into what I actually needed to do for my tube so I'm just gonna go and sort my hair out I'm just gonna put some moisturizer on because I have told you before that I have really 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 bad dry skin so I have to moisturize like four times a day or something stupid like that so yeah I'm gonna go do all this now and I'll catch up with you later good morning everyone please excuse my hair I am about to straighten it and um, I've literally just woken up and when I say woken up, <laughs> the time is 12.59. I'm not even going to apologise for that. It's literally me on the weekends. I just sleep till whenever my body decides to wake up. Um. Anyway, I woke up this morning and I'm actually quite hungry. So I say this morning, it's literally like one o'clock. But yeah, sometimes I get really hungry like the minute I wake up. And I guess if I've slept longer, I do get hungry. So I've just made myself um a bagel and a cup of tea. And I'm actually just about to get ready because I'm going to go on a walk. So, like I said the other day, I'm feeling so much better. And I kind of want to take advantage of that but not push myself at the same time. But as you guys know, I no longer live with my mum and dad and the dogs. Um, and I feel like it's quite getting to me. As you probably can tell, I'm quite a family girl. I always have been. So I'm actually going to go on a walk today, um, meet them with the dogs, I'm so excited to see the dogs and especially Alfie, like, just, yeah, it's, I feel like it's really getting to me. So I'm going to go on a walk, obviously we're outside so it should be fine but I think it's just kind of getting to me now and I'm kind of wondering whether that was a reason why I kind of got poorly. Um, Alan, actually, one of the person who commented on my video the other week, did actually make a really good point and he said that probably because of you moving and you know you're no longer with you, living with your family and everything's so new and you know, you know you've moved house everything in my current normal routine has changed so I think my body was just kind of retaliating <laughs> against me but yeah I'm super excited to go on a walk and see them I really really miss them so much and yeah I'm gonna get ready now like I said, I'm actually feeling really good today. I have had a lay-in and I'm feeling really refreshed. So yeah, I'm going to set up my water in a minute as well. So I'm obviously going to take my backpack with me on a walk. Um, I'm going to just finish my bagel now, finish getting ready. And I'll probably catch up with you when I get reunited with the dogs. I'm literally so excited. Like, I can't describe how much I miss them. Like, seriously miss them so much. I miss Riley annoying me, bringing me a wet, soggy sock all the time. And I miss just everything I can possibly miss about Alfie just yeah so just to explain if anyone doesn't know Alfie is my dog Um Riley is like the family dog so Riley's like my brother I always say he's my brother and then Alfie's like my son so it's like I've been separated from like two big parts of my heart these past few weeks so I'm really really looking forward to seeing them so I'll probably catch up with you when we're going to walk <laughs> today so obviously I went on the walk before that you saw and when I got back I've just kind of been chilling and it's getting towards like the end of the day slash night now so I've just put my pyjamas on I've just literally put on the comfiest like it's like one of them pyjama cardigans yeah it's really really comfy so I'm all chilled out now haven't really done much today um but it was really really nice to see my mum and dad and the dogs and yeah it's really strange like I said 
I saw them obviously the other week and we looked at the caravans but that's really the only time I've seen them um, and it's just so strange because like I said I'm not used to it but yeah. So yeah while I just um, saw them today I thought I'd let you know that they give me a parcel that arrived at my granny's house for me. Um, so I've already told you this before but the subscription that I get from Lula Belly by Ellie that every month so all of our mail is getting redirected to my granny's house at the minute so anything that gets sent for me ends up there so they have to give it me um, and my feed is actually going there as well so that's another thing that I have to pick up after them but they give me um, a bit more when I met up with them today they give me some feed and some um, extension sets and stuff so let's open this now Sorry about the absolute state I've just opened the box. So it just says March subscription. March is St. Patrick's Day. Whether you celebrate it or not, I hope this month's, month brings you tons of good luck. Aww. So she always handwrites these notes. So just the nicest thing ever to receive. One, one day a month. And it's just always a themed um, one. So like she said, because it was St. Patrick's Day, she's put some things on there. So it's like a good luck tubey pad. I really don't know if you can see that. My camera's not focusing very well. There you go. So that's a really cute one i will probably put that on tomorrow yeah i'm probably going to sign off for tonight and catch up with you tomorrow and we'll be on real time sunday tomorrow so the actual day that i'll be uploading the video hello everybody happy sunday i hope you're all okay today um so i've probably been up for like two hours or so now um i am feeling okay so i'm a little tired because obviously i went on a little walk yesterday but I'm not too bad. The only thing that's been bothering me recently is the other week when me and my mum and my dad went to look at caravans, um, I really hurt my knee um, getting in and out of the caravan. Some of them didn't have steps on and I've done something to my knee and it's really hurting. So every morning when I've been waking up, my knee's like really throbbing and I don't know if that's to do with my EDS or anything, but yeah, I should have been a little more careful, I guess, when I was getting in and out of it. But I might have a look to see if I've got one of them I don't even know what they're called. You know, like there's some bandages that you can put around. I used to put on my ankle all the time. It's like a support bandage or something. But yeah, I think I have got one somewhere. So I'm going to try and put that on. Um, I'm going to try and sort my tube out now and just give it a clean because it's bothering me a bit again. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, when I was poorly the other week, I think it's just gone a bit bad. So I'm just going to um, go give that a clean now, set up my water and might make myself a brew. And yeah, so we'll see what today entails. I haven't really got much planned, just really editing my video. Like I said, I'm doing some interview prep. And yeah, just a really chilled out one. James is at work again. I feel like I've literally not really seen him. Like, because he does all these like funny shifts and every time he's at home during the day I'm working, we're just struggling to find some time. Even though we're living together, it's so strange. We barely see each other, so... Yeah, I'm just going to have a bit of a chill out day today. I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday so far and let's see what we get up to. <laughs> tube is bothering me a little bit but i'm kind of hoping that it'll just die down in the next few days just because i'm still kind of recovering from being poorly um but yeah i'm hoping it'll die down i've just turned the telly on now so i'm gonna start watching vampire diaries and i'm also gonna start it in this vlog so i'm probably gonna close it off here so i really hope you've enjoyed this was kind of like chill vlog with me just been little catch-ups during the week um and like i said the other week i'm so glad that i'm just now back up to my um usual upload schedule so it's normally every sunday and every thursday 
um i'm actually having a bit of a pajama day today just because you know because it's just sunday and i just don't want to i want to enjoy life today i don't want to be stressed this one have a pajama day i'm actually getting a bit hot in this so i'm not gonna lie um so i might actually even need to get changed soon because i'm getting a bit hot because i've just been moving around and stuff so yeah i'm gonna close off this vlog i really really hope you're all doing okay at the minute if you need anything just let me know i have slowly started <gasps> that's because i just have i've just had my brew i think it might be ready to come back up <laughs> um yeah like i said if you need anything just let me know i have slowly started getting through my instagram messages now so if i've not replied yet i will get to you i literally had when i, I took that week off instagram and like off vlogging and stuff i think i was up to about 300 unread messages so oh my god there was literally loads so i am slowly making my way through them i'll probably get to some more today but i'm gonna say goodbye for now i'm gonna edit this vlog so you can watch it later on and yeah i'll catch up with you during the week if you've got any video requests or anything like that just let me know um i could definitely get to it now that i am feeling much better i really will do a lot more so yeah let me know if you want any specific videos or if you're just enjoying these normal like catch-ups and things like that but we definitely do have some very exciting ones coming up obviously when we move into the caravan um and things like that and things will be going back to normal soon in the uk hopefully there's a lot of dates that um boris johnson has kind of set us that we can kind of look forward to i think it's april and things like that so it'll be really exciting when i can actually leave the house with you um obviously since i've started vlogging we've basically been in lockdown this whole entire time so it is sometimes quite difficult to try and think of things to do but i have literally just been showing you what I, what i get up to that week things like that but yeah just let me know if there's anything that you want me to do while we are still in lockdown or anything like that or any q and a's or literally anything you can think of just let me know and i'll get to it so really hope you enjoy the rest of your evening because by the time you watch this it'll be evening time and i will speak to you next week <laughs>